All right, so today I'm going to be showing you Leonardo VR. So the first thing you want to do is sign in and then press submit. So it's going to bring you to the screen where you can choose from um, 22 different scenarios. So once you find a scenario you want, you press select. So we'll use Brian. And then it's going to bring you into the simulation room. So you can do a survey, monitoring, examination, analysis, treatment, screening, or administer drugs. So if you want to ask him some questions, you click on survey, you can ask him about his health status, his medicine that he's been taking, nutrition, activity, any risk factors that he's experienced, or is he experiencing any pain. So we'll click on health status and we can ask him how are you feeling, and the cool thing is he'll answer back. Not good. I feel weak, dizzy, hungry, annoyed. I sweat and shiver. So, you know, you can ask him many different questions, uh, you know, about how he eats and all that other stuff. So once you finish that survey, you can go to monitoring and you can, you know, uh, check for the ECG monitoring. So it'll take a second, but then the vitals will pop up. So you have those. So if you want to control the blood pressure, you press that and then a blood pressure cuff will pop up on his arm as well. And then it'll pop up onto the monitor as well. So you can do all that. So when you want to do an examination, you can check the skin, you can do breathing, blood circulation, abdominal zone, body position, and all the other stuff. So when you want to press breathing, you can do auscultation of the lungs. So you just press where you want to listen and you can hear him breathe. Depending on where you put the stethoscope is dependent on what kind of sound you'll hear. So we put it right near the lungs, so we'll put it here the lungs. So if you can also want to change the body position, so if he's laying flat and, and you want him to sit up, you can change it. Then he'll sit up at whatever angle you choose. So if you go to analysis, you can also do bacterial research or labs. So if you want labs, you know, you do blood chemistry, we'll get those coming up and then it'll give you everything that you need to know about his blood chemistry. So once you find all that and choose whichever labs you want, you can go to treatment. So there's defibrillation, oxygen therapy, so if you've got trouble breathing, you can go straight over here to oxygen therapy and click nasal cannula to help him out. And then it pops up. So once you go to screening, you can also look for pictures or ultrasounds or 12 flea ECG. So if you go to pictures and click uh, abdominal CT, why not? That's going to take a little bit, just kind of in the real world, you're not going to get these things right away. So it's cool that they have a little wait for you and then it pops up and look, he has something right there. So if you go to drug, you can administer any drugs. So there's different classes of drugs. So if you want to give him an antibiotic, you can, you know, and then a bunch of drugs pop up so you can choose which one you want. Then you can also choose how you want to administer this drug. So if you want to do intravenous injection, if you want to do intramuscular, so we'll do intravenous, then you can choose the dosage, then and put the drug. So it's going to take a second as well. And then if it does Injection not work, of the drug has been canceled because it may harm the patient. It will stop it. So it's a good feedback tool for whether you know to let you know whether you are doing it right or giving the wrong drug and could harm the patient. So once you're finished with the examination, it can either take you the full 15 minutes or you can stop early if you have a diagnosis. You can go to the cogwheel up in the top left corner, press end simulation. And that's going to bring you to this screen and then you choose your diagnosis. So in this case it was hypoglycemia and my diagnosis was correct. So it will also give you a percentage of how well you did. So if you, I did 42% of the examination, 56% of the proper diagnosis, and I didn't do anything to treat hypoglycemia. So once you finish that, you just press uh, start new simulation and you can pick anything else that you want.